Hey guys, it's Christina. Looking like a hot mess. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm making chicken cacciatore tonight, and I'm gonna serve it over pasta for Brian and over zucchini for me. So I'm gonna start the pasta real quick while my chicken is finishing up. Um, remember the other day I talked about the rice cooker and how you can make rice in 12 or 13 minutes? Well, the same thing goes for pasta. So in here I have just some spaghetti. See that in there? So you just wanna put your pasta in the rice cooker and pop it in the microwave for 12 to 15 minutes. So, oh, let me take this out first. Mm -hmm. This is why Christina can't lose any weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, putting that away. Okay, rice cooker is going in here for 12 minutes. There we go. All right, so I had some chicken left over from the other day. So I'm just grilling it. Um, you can actually, I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's pull this up. Oh, a little fall. There we go. Now you guys can see. Okay, cool. <laughs> Kelly, the struggle is real. <laughs> and I've been sick for like two weeks, so I can't go to the gym. Anyway, okay, so I'm using my double burner uh, grill pan, and I'm grilling up some chicken. It's almost done. So I'm going to take that out. We're going to chop it up. But over here, I have um, my simple slicer with an onion. Alright, so I'm just going to use my simple slicer. I'm on um, number three. So I'm going to get perfect slicers. I'm going to turn the back of the grill pan on so it heats up. So do you guys see that? I have some mushrooms in there already. So there's my onions and my mushrooms. And then I'm going to do a bell pepper. So I've already taken the seeds out of this one. But it's actually too big for my um, simple slicer. So we're done with the simple slicer for now. Hey guys, how are you? Hi Sandy. Um, I'm going to use my veggie spiralizer for the pepper. Okay. So I'm going to throw this pepper in here. Just roughly chop it. So what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Who's out there? So versatile. I know. Wait, which part? The spiralizer, the simple slicer, or the grill pan? Or all three, because all three are super versatile. Just saying. Alright, so we're going to um, put the bell pepper. I don't have the blade in here, so that little um, blade to make it fettuccine or spaghetti, this little guy, I don't have that in there right now. So um, it's just the straight blade, so we're just going to put the bell pepper in there and watch this. See that right there? But don't be like Christina and leave it one big long thing. You have to chop it. Because <laughs> this is one long piece. Okay. So we're going to throw that over here. So I'm just going to give us a rough chop. I've never made this recipe, by the way. This is a new one for me. Um, but everybody, Pampered Chef Wise, has been making it forever. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. What are you guys making? I hear, I see some of you are cooking right now. All right, so the next one, I'm gonna take the green bell pepper. I'm gonna take this chicken off before I burn it, because you know, it's easy to burn anything in my house. Barbecue turkey, ooh, that sounds amazing. I'm gonna throw that in here. Here we go. We'll leave that there. It's not burning, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to roughly chop these guys. Throw them in my bowl. So I'm throwing it in the bowl first because I'm going to, um, ooh, ooh, one got away. See which doggy eats it first. Zoe's checking it out. I don't know. All right, look, here's our scoop loop. If you don't have this yet, you're missing out, especially after this um, weather. Okay, who out there is melting? Did anybody see Norfolk on the map this morning on the Today Show? Because that's where I am, and it's like a 1,000 degrees. <laughs> okay, so um, 
when it becomes fall uh, and we're all going to carve pumpkins, um, you need a scoop loop so you can carve your pumpkin. Because when you get in the pumpkin and you scrape it out with those little teeth, it's amazing. Okay, so there you go. Take the seeds out as well. So I'm going to do the bell pepper now. I mean, seriously, this is, and I'm getting some exercise. Ooh, let's get these out of there. All right, so I'm going to add some garlic and some Italian seasoning. I think it calls for sweet basil rub, but I don't know. I love our Italian seasoning. Anybody out there love our pantry seasoning? What's your favorite? I'm going to give this a rough chop. Turn this light on. Maybe you guys can see a little better. How's that? Yay. Okay, so in my bowl I have peppers and onions and mushrooms. Don't tell Brian there's mushrooms. He might not see them unless he's watching this. There's that. Okay, look, I'm going to take my chicken off here for a second. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to put our, um, okay, hold on. I'm going to turn this off for a second. Give me a second here. Okay. So we're going to um, press some garlic in here and also add some Italian seasoning or sweet basil rub, whatever you guys got. Uh, this one's new. Let's open that. Maybe a couple tablespoons. This is a new one. I've never made this one before, so I'm going by uh, memory, too, by the way. Don't do that. Okay, so here's some garlic. I need a press. You guys all love your garlic press? Who's out there? Love that pan. Me too, Steve. I use the double burner grill pan for everything. And did you guys know it goes in the oven? So you guys can, like, start things on the stovetop and do it right in the oven. You can do breakfast, so you could do, like, sausages and bacon. Um, you could do or um, waffles or pancakes. I don't know anything you want. Or for or for lunch, you can do paninis and and um, grilled cheese. I hear it's the best. Well, I've done it before, but the best grilled cheese ever. You can also do. Okay, we have a cleaning tool for the garlic press, by the way, so you don't have to struggle like me. Um, we also do. You can also do quesadillas in the grill pan or um, hamburgers, hot dogs, all of that, you guys. Grill pan does everything. And then for dinner, obviously, you can do um, steaks and burgers and shrimp and fish and vegetables and everything. You guys get the picture, right? Everybody needs a double burner grill pan. And the presses, they're amazing. So if you don't have one, you can always do a party, obviously, uh, and get half off or even free. And what better time? We're having a new catalog come out in September, so you can get right on that. I have a few dates left in September, so give me a shout. Okay, here we go. So I have our veggies in here. I'm just going to toss this. Oh, why did I do that? I have to toss. So we have some veggies, some onions. Put some oil in here. Remember, don't oil your pan. Oil your food. You use less that way and make less of a mess. Say that five times fast. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these veggies. Oh, let me show you guys. Just throw these veggies right in the pan. So they're nice and seasoned. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now I'm hungry. So I even have, if Jessica's watching, I have some Menino's sauce that was in the freezer. What dish did you keep the garlic in? Oh, Dawn, that's a great question. Um, you can use a prep bowl, but because I love all direct selling companies, except for the ones that sell smelly stuff, because I can't smell. I know, one of the things that's wrong with me. Um, I actually have a Tupperware garlic container. It's like one of the one things I love. So if you have a Tupperware gal, go get your garlic container. Super fun, it stays right on my stove. Okay, so look at this. How yummy does this look, you guys? Delicious. Turn this back on. Oh my gosh. 
It's like an Italian feast in here. All right, look, I know you can totally chop up your chicken with your salad choppers, but I'm already in here with a knife, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and not chop my finger. I'm just gonna throw our slices back in the pan. Okay. Who has our salad choppers? Anybody out there? What do you guys use them for besides chicken and salad? You're gonna use it tonight. What are you gonna use tonight, April? What are you cooking? All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a little chop of our tomatoes here. Um, there's another one. And then we're gonna add some marinara sauce after these veggies cook down. I'm gonna rinse my tomatoes. Let me get rid of this. So, get rid of this. And that, and that. Did you guys know you can keep your scraps to all your vegetables and then um, put them in the freezer in a big Ziploc bag? And then, hey, Joe. Um, and then when you're done, uh, when the bag is full in the freezer, you can actually um, pour some water over it and make like a vegetable sauce. So you're not wasting any of those. Oh. April, the double burner broke tent. That's awesome. Okay, so I've never made this one. Ooh, my eyes, those onions. Look at this. This looks amazing. I'm going to take a picture with my iPad. So hold on. Photo up. Perfect. Okay, so um, I need to rinse these tomatoes. So I'm going to use... I love this little rinse, uh, this little colander that comes with our veggie. Um, salad, our salad and berry spinner. I love it. I use it all the time. So there's lots of different things you can use um, to slice these tomatoes. I thought I would go old school today and show you guys the veggie wedger. So they haven't used it in a while. And I feel like we don't talk about it anymore because we have that amazing um, quick slice now. you got to line it up first. But it'll make awesome little wedges. Well, hold on, that one was well smushed because I smushed it earlier. Let me get one here. So you just put your, your fruit, your vegetable, whatever, press it down, and it cuts it into six pieces. You see that? So I'm going to throw those in there. Um, so you can use this for uh, lemons, limes, oranges, potatoes, tomatoes, anything without a core. Okay? The veggie wedger used to be my favorite product. But um, ever since that quick slice came out, I don't even know where it's at. It's probably in my car, like everything else. Um, yeah, this thing is awesome. Can you see that? So it's super sharp. It's dishwasher safe. It's pretty inexpensive. Most camera chef is inexpensive. And if you host, I know, look at these dogs. Can you see that? The other one's behind me. It's like a balancing act when I'm in my kitchen. Make sure I don't trip over any dogs. True story. All right, so I'm going to keep doing some tomatoes here. I have a couple left. I had to stop softening. Look. Here we go. So our pasta, did you guys hear that? The pasta's done. I'm also going to use the veggie wedger for my zucchini. And then I'm going to steam it in uh, the smallest rock cross. I'm going to show you guys that too. Okay, let me just stir this up. Oh my gracious, you guys. This looks amazing. How healthy is this? You can totally add some hot peppers if you want. You know what? I might add um, some red pepper flakes just to give it a little bit of heat. How's that sound? Does anybody like some spicy food? My husband does, so let's see what I have. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Just gonna sprinkle a couple. Mm, maybe if they come out. There we go. Okay. So we have that going. I'm gonna do my zucchini. And then the last thing you add to this is um, some marinara. So, like I said, I had some in the freezer from Menino's. 
They actually come to one of the farmer's markets near me um, over in East Beach. And I got some a while ago, uh, May 30th. Hmm. How about that? It's time to use that. Um, and I froze it because we didn't use it all. So, All right, here's our rice cooker with our pasta, or Brian's pasta, I should say. Let's check it out. Ooh, and it's done. Yeah, see, 12 minutes pasta in the microwave in the rice cooker. So the best part about the rice cooker is that you could take the, the lid off now and then put it back on. And now I can just drain it right in the, into the sink. After I'm done draining this, I'll show you the pasta. How's that sound? Oh, that's cooking up nice. It said to use, I think, a can of tomatoes, um, but I just got some fresh tomatoes because I like fresh stuff better. You don't want all those preservatives anyway. All right, so here's our pasta. Look at that. 12 minutes, you guys. So if you have a rice cooker or a rock crock or a deep cover baker, you can do your pasta in the microwave in less than 15 minutes. So how's that for quick and easy? Okay, this is almost ready, I think, for the marinara. And then we're going to shred some cheese. By the way, I got these two today at um, Harris Teeter. They're buy one, get one. But that was when I thought I was going to make some... I'll be move. I was going to make some chicken parmesan, but I opted out. Okay, so we're going to do the spiral laser now with the zucchini. Show you guys that. And I'm going to put the blade in for this one. Okay, so remember, this is the blade. I'm going to use this side for the zucchini. So just throw this in here. You can use the cover to help you guide the blade in there. There you go. Throw that in there. Tighten it up. You guys watching this? I hope you can see it. All right, and then take the, the cover off. Here. Okay, and then we're going to do our zucchini. So I'm going to chop the tops off, cut it into three, put it in there, and spiralize it. Do you guys see that? So those of you that have a spiralizer, what are you guys spiralizing? Ooh, you made home and Ooh, my tomatoes are not red yet, Star. Um... Who wants a zucchini? Zoe won't eat it. Ollie! Watch this. Go ahead. Mmm, delicious. Um, my tomatoes are still green star, so we are having a, not making sauce yet. I'm kind of bummed about it. This is our mini rock crop, you guys. This is the rock crop that you can get for $39 in August. So if you host your own party in August, uh, you can get yourself a mini rock crock. It's actually called a casserole rock crock. I call it a mini because it's it's like a little baby rock crock. But he's great for two people or just a couple pieces of chicken breast. Um, steaming vegetables like I'm about to do. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to add um, my sauce. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit to my rock crock because when you steam your zucchini, you want to have it steam with something. And then I'm going to add the rest over here. And then the last thing to do with this, um, let it cook for a little bit longer, and then you can top it with some Parmesan cheese with our grater, of course. Duh. Um, so let me pull all this over. I think this looks pretty good for my first time making this chicken cacciatore. So I thought I would try this recipe because it's a great recipe um, that I might make this fall at my parties. So um, you can easily double the ingredients and it will make a lot. So I'm just going to spread this out so it all cooks pretty quick. How do you think that looks, you guys? I'm going to bring the camera over in just a second. Let me do the rest of this zucchini. Oh look, now Zoe wants a zucchini. 
You love spicy food, Helen? Me too. Oh. Here you go. I miss you guys. Okay, here we go. So I have um, just one zucchini in here. Show you what this looks like. Um, and that's all I'm going to do. Actually, no. I'll do the other one. Oh, wait, I still have a little quarter. Hold on. We're not done yet. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So I don't ruin my dress with spaghetti sauce. So I think it called for like a whole jar of marinara, but I, um, I'm not trying to cook a whole lot. And I kind of, I think I cut back on some of the ingredients, so it didn't make a ton. That's why, um, I only put that little bit, which was perfect. That's all I needed. Whew. I don't need to go to the gym. I just need to keep spiralizing some veggies. All right. Could you do risotto? Mm-hmm. For this recipe, or in the rock rock, or in the rice cooker, all of the above. Oh, chicken stock. That's a great idea, Don. Um, I don't know if I have any. Oh, I do. Okay, Don. Just because you said that, I got some right here. Here you go. Just because Don said so, I added some chicken broth. There you go. So let's check that out. All right. So I just did one zucchini because this is just for me over here. So, and then I'm gonna do. Um, I just did a little bit of marinara. I'm gonna stir this up. Get a little spoon here, just to coat it. And you could add garlic to this if you want to. There we go. Okay, see that. So I'm going to steam this in the microwave for just three minutes because it's just one zucchini. Let me get the Krispy Kreme out of the way. All right, it's just one zucchini, so just a few minutes, okay? Okay. So you guys, that's it. Um, I'm going to let this cook because I just added some cold chicken broth, so now I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. And um, holy moly, this looks amazing. So, uh, thanks for checking this out, you guys. I hope you learned something. I don't know. Maybe the pasta in the rice cooker. I'm going to take you guys off here so you can see this. See that? Fun. All right, guys. Well, I will talk to you guys. Oh, it's all confused. My phone is so confused. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great night. Bye. Well, say goodbye to the doggies. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.